Hello, my name is Marielle. Welcome back to another one of my movie reviews. If you saw my Titanic tribute video last year, you know that I'm a huge fanatic of anything Titanic related. Over the years, I've collected every Titanic book and movie that I could find, and in this piece of necklace is a real piece of coal that was saved from the wreck of the Titanic. If you go out to Branson, Missouri, I highly recommend that you visit the Titanic Museum. It's been 10 years since I've gone there, and I had a blast of fun. Today, in honor of the 110 years since the sinking of the Titanic, I'm going to review the 1953 film. Grab your life belts, and let's start talking about this film. Titanic is a 1953 film based on the famous true story. Boarding the ship, Richard and Julia are forced to recognize their failing marriage. During the ill-fated journey, secrets are revealed, affecting the relationship they have with their children. Titanic has made a legend across history. I have been a fanatic of the Titanic since I was a kid. One Christmas, I got the 1953 film adaptation as a gift, and I watched it. Clearly, I was too young to appreciate this film. In contrast to other Titanic media, this adaptation seeks its own creative outlook. Clifton Webb and Barbara Stanwyck were excellent as an unhappy married couple. Webb and Stanwyck did a great job in their interactions. Their emotional deliveries were performed to the highest degree. I adored the father-son relationship between Richard and Norman. Part of me wishes that Norman could have been played by an actual 10-year-old instead of 14-year-old Harper Carter. Then again, his behavior recognizes the unhealthy way that he looks up to his father. An ensemble of hundreds dedicated their time as passengers of the ship. I like Thelma Ritter's part in the film. She added a layer of comedy to this overall sad tale. I especially enjoyed Brian Ahern's memorable performance as Captain Smith. His evocative countenance of emotions was studied very well. Other credits include Robert Wagner, Audrey Dalton, Harper Carter, Richard Basehart, Alan Joselin, James Todd, Francis Bergen, and William Johnstone. I will say that one historical character was inaccurate in age. That was distracting and could have been given better attention. While it is an excellent drama, this adaptation of the Titanic does not hold true to the source material. It's too modern. Sound alarms which were prominently used at the end of the film were distracting. Plus, they didn't exist yet. Filmmakers should have paid closer attention to the time period because the clothing is more 1950s era. The writers did a nice job with the pacing of the story. Noticing that the film only had a half hour of the ship's demise, the ending is directed well. The sinking happened quickly. Special effects of the models crafted for the sinking ship were excellent. But I think it could have gone through a better edit because when we see the ship at an angle and then it switches to a set, the tilt is uneven not matching the ship's angle. One aspect of the film that has earned its fair share of criticism is the ending. Instead of passengers running in a panic, they all calmly sing Nearer My God to Thee as the ship sinks. This is inaccurate to what happens, but that is okay. This is a lovely, melancholic sequence. This climax is a chance to do something different. I like how Gene Negalesco took creative liberties to film this sequence. All Titanic films end the same, so it's nice to have a change. Everybody has a story from this fateful night. Without stories from the survivors, we would not have Titanic films. No matter how many times you have watched a film dedicated to the Titanic, remember to recall all the lives that were lost. Honor the officers and engineers who worked until the very end. And remember the heroes. Titanic still lies at the bottom of the ocean floor as a mark in history that no ship 
is ever unsinkable. Titanic will forever live on in history as long as we keep telling stories. Rest in peace, Titanic. Thank you for joining me in the commemoration of 110 years since the Titanic sank. What's your favorite Titanic fun fact? Have you been to any of the museums? For next time, I'm going to be reviewing a Pixar film that was just released to Disney+. Plus. Don't get yourself too excited or you'll turn into a panda bear because I'm reviewing Turning Red. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel or to my Patreon. My name is Marielle and this has been another one of my movie reviews.